Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about intravenous fluid calculations with very simple and easy techniques. Please watch the entire video so that at the end you will get a lot of techniques to do intravenous fluid calculations in an easy way. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. IV fluids are commonly prescribed in the following formats. Example 1, normal saline 100 ml per hour. Here the volume and the time is clearly mentioned. Volume is 100 ml and time for infusion is 1 hour. And hence flow rate calculation will be very easy. But look at the example 2. 1000 ml of saline IV over 10 hours. Here volume is 1000 ml but the time for infusion is 10 hours. Here we need to calculate ml per hour because in order to document hourly intake this data may be necessary. This is calculated by a simple formula ml per hour equal to total infusion volume in ml divided by total infusion time in hours which gives the ml per hour. Now considering example 2, 1000 divided by 10 gives 100 ml per hour. This will be the hourly intake. An IV infusion set is used to administer fluids. The flow rate is calculated in drops per minute. That is GGTS per minute. To calculate this, the nurse must know the administration set drop factor or drip factor. Now, what is a drop factor? The number of drops in 1 ml of solution is called drop factor. Macro drip sets have 10, 15, 20 GTT per ml or drops per ml. Micro drip sets have 60 GTT per ml or drops per ml. Now, how do we identify the drop factor for a macro drip set? Clinically, this is very easy. When we look at the back of the cover of the infusion set, it is clearly mentioned how many drops contained in 1 ml. For example, in this picture, 20 drops of distilled water equivalent to 1 ml, which means the drop factor is 20 drops, where 1 ml is 20 drops. Similar way, we can find out the drop factor for a micro drip set in the cover of the infusion set. Here in this image, we can find that 60 drops of distilled water equivalent to 1 ml, that is 1 ml contains 60 drops. Hence, the drop factor is 60. For exam purpose, the drop factor will be clearly mentioned in the question so that you can go directly to the calculation. Let's start with a calculation. Example 1. A patient is receiving 400 ml normal saline IV over 4 hours using a drip set with a drip factor of 20 drops per ml. How many drops per minute should be delivered? Here, the formula to calculate drops per minute is flow rate equal to total infusion volume multiplied by drop factor divided by time in minutes which gives the drops per minute. Here volume is 400 ml. Drop factor is 20 drops per ml. Time in minutes will be 4 multiplied by 60. Why? Because to calculate 4 hours we have to convert it into minutes and hence 4 is multiplied by 60. So applying this into the formula 400 multiplied by 20 divided by 4 multiplied by 60 gives 33.3 which we round up and make it 33 drops per minute. This will be the flow rate. In order to calculate hourly infusion, we need to know ml per hour and the formula will be total infusion volume divided by total infusion time that is 400 by 4 which is 100 ml per hour. Here, the question is how many drops per minute should be delivered. But in addition, we have calculated ml per hour which is useful for clinical purpose. 
Clinically, when we are infusing, first we can calculate ml per hour as we have discussed. Using the same example, when we look here, ml per hour is 100 ml per hour. With this data, we can calculate flow rate with the same formula which gives the answer 33 drops per minute which is the same answer. Let's go on to the second example. A patient is receiving normal saline 50 ml per hour using IV set with a drip factor of 15 drops per ml. How many drops per minute should be delivered? Here, the infusion volume is clearly mentioned 50 ml per hour. The formula to calculate flow rate is total infusion volume multiplied by drop factor divided by time in minutes. Here, volume is 50 ml, drop factor is 15 drops per ml, time in minutes will be 1 multiplied by 60. And applying all into the formula, 50 multiplied by 15 divided by 1 multiplied by 60 gives the answer 12.5 drops per minute which we can round up and make it 12 drops per minute. Now, let's discuss an easy technique to calculate the flow rate for a macro drip sets using the following drop factors. When we look at this table, the drop factors are 10, 15 and 20. Correspondingly, remember these numbers 6, 4 and 3. Later, we will be mentioning the use of these numbers. Now, looking into the example, a patient is receiving normal saline 50 ml per hour using IV set with a drip factor of 15 drops per ml. How many drops per minute should be delivered? Now, flow rate is equal to 50, which is the volume, divided by the number corresponding to the drop factor 15, which is 4. And the answer is 12.5 drops per minute. Ideally, when we apply this in the calculation of the formula flow rate equal to total infusion volume multiplied by drop factor divided by time in minutes, we get the same answer 12.5 drops per minute. Now, we may wonder how did the number 4 come? This is obtained by dividing 60 by 15 where 60 is minutes and 15 is the drop factor which gives the answer. Four. Let's look into one more example. A patient is receiving normal saline 100 ml per hour using IV set with a drip factor of 20 drops per ml. How many drops per minute should be delivered? Flow rate will be equal to 100 that is the volume divided by number 3 which is corresponding to the drop factor 20. We get the answer 33.3 drops per minute. Ideally, if we apply this in the regular formula also, we get the same answer, 33.3 drops per minute. The number 3 was obtained by dividing 60 by 20, that is 60 minutes divided by drop factor 20, giving the answer 3. One more example is, a patient is receiving normal saline 80 ml per hour using IV set with a drift factor of 10 drops per ml. How many drops per minute should be delivered? Flow rate will be 80 which is the volume divided by 6 corresponding to the drop factor 10 which gives the answer 13.3 drops per minute. When we ideally apply into the regular formula, we get the same answer 13.3 drops per minute. The number 6 has been obtained by dividing 60 minutes divided by 10 drop factor giving the answer 6. Here comes a pocket guide calculating flow rate for a macro drip set with 1 ml containing 20 drops. Remember the number 3 for drop factor 20. Here the flow rate has been calculated for the corresponding volume of 25 ml, 50 ml, 75 ml and 100 ml per hour which is calculated by dividing volume by 3 where we get the flow rate. Here comes another pocket guide for calculating flow rate for a macro drip set containing 1 ml equivalent to 15 drops. 
Remember number 4 for the drop factor 15. The flow rate has been calculated for the corresponding volume of 25 ml, 50 ml, 75 ml and 100 ml per hour. The calculation is dividing the volume by number 4 which gives the corresponding flow rates. Now calculation using micro drip set 1 ml contains 60 drops per minute. Let's look into the example. A patient is receiving 300 ml of normal saline IV over 5 hours using a micro drip set of 60 drops per ml. How many drops per minute should be delivered? The formula here is flow rate is total infusion volume multiplied by drop factor divided by time in minutes which gives drops per minute. Total infusion volume will be 300, drop factor is 60 drops per ml, time in minutes will be 5 multiplied by 60. Applying all into the formula 300 multiplied by 60 divided by 5 multiplied by 60 we get the answer 60 drops per minute. For calculating ml per hour, total infusion volume divided by total infusion time that is 300 divided by 5, we get 60 ml per hour. Now look into the second example, a patient is receiving normal saline 50 ml per hour using IV set with a micro drip set of 60 drops per ml. How many drops per minute should be delivered? Here the infusion volume is directly given 50 ml per hour. So applying in the formula we get 50 multiplied by 60 divided by 1 multiplied 60 equal to 50 drops per minute. Now when you look here the flow rate is the same as the volume given for a micro drip set. For example normal saline 20 ml per hour the flow rate will be 25 drops. For normal saline 50 ml per hour, the flow rate will be 50 drops per minute. And for normal saline 100 ml per hour, the flow rate will be 100 drops per minute. How we get this? The numerator 60 and denominator 60 automatically gets cancelled and the volume per hour is the same as the flow rate. Here you go with simple and easy techniques for IV flow rate calculation. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.